Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Platinum Snipers easy in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Quickly before we do get into today's video, if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to turn on to miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so as you can see, I did get my first Platinum Sniper today and it was actually quite easy to go ahead and do. I'm going to show you through some of the harder challenges. Some of them are very basic and we're not going to spend too much time on them. But some of them are a little bit more difficult, so I'll show you like a class up and things like that for it. But the first one on all the snipers is to be 50 kills with the certain gun. So whichever sniper you're using will be to get 50 kills with the gun. This one's just very easy. It's going to happen as you're doing the rest of the camo. So you don't need to specify anything specific on this. Next up for the first one, guys, is to get 20 kills whilst mounted. This one's very easy. Just sit at the back of the map. Sit like down the middle alleyway. The Mexican map is a very good one for that. You can sit at the back. Just aim all the way down the middle. And you can just sit there with a sniper, mount up. And just every time someone runs down that line of sight, try and get a kill with it. And by now, you should have played enough of the game. Or you should have a rough idea of the sort of routes people do take within the game. So all you need to do is just sit in an area where you can mount up and stare down that particular route it's a very slow play style it's a very boring way to play the game uh, if you want to do it a little bit easier because it hasn't got to be long shots what you might want to do is put a four time sight on it and then mount up inside of buildings where it's a lot smaller and basically every kill you're trying to get you just want to get mounted just really worry about your mounted kills don't worry about the rest of the camos for that particular point just go for your 20 mounted kills on its own because it's going to make it much much faster and much much easier so like i say all you need to do is just mount up looking down certain routes whether it's the left route the middle route or the right route you can even do this invasion or ground war depending on what you want to do but just make sure you're mounted up looking at those routes that you know people are going to take every time someone runs into the line of sight obviously you want to be getting that kill you should get that done nice and quickly Next up is getting 25 one-shot kills. Again, very easy with these snipers. A lot of them are one-shot kill no matter what class up you've got on it. They're basically one-shots with no attachments on it. So if you wanted to just change the optic and leave the gun completely stocked, you could still get your one-shot kills. All you then need to do is go about getting 25 kills, which again, really, really shouldn't be that difficult. If you find you're getting a lot of hit markers because you're hitting leg shots, just make sure you're starting to aim higher. Aim for that chest, aim for the headshots, and you'll always get a one-shot kill with it. So it should be done nice and nice and quickly. Realistically, it should take you about 30 kills to get, given, given the one or two kills where you might get, uh, someone might have already shot at them, so they're already weak, so you don't get the one-shot kill, or you hit a hit marker. So it really is that you should only take you 30 kills to get this one done, which is very, very easily. And then finally, for this sniper in specific, guys, it is going to be to get a kill with a suppressor on. Again, the suppressor I recommend running is going to be the first one here, um, the nil sound one. And the reason for that is it doesn't have any pros or cons, but it is still a suppressor. So it doesn't change the way the gun plays at all, but it will actually suppress the gun. So you haven't got any less damage. You haven't got any more ADS time or anything like that. You're not, you're not changing the gun, how it plays at all. The nil sound 90 will give you the best suppression because it doesn't change anything on the gun. And it's definitely the best way to go about doing it. So stick this on go ahead and get your 30 suppression kills again it should only take you 30 kills to do well it will take you 30 kills to do but again should be nice and easy so if that sniper in specific is very easy when it comes to gold it's still three kills in 10 lives so all you need to do for this is just really slow your play style down again go back to that standard sitting and watching routes if you're good with snipers and can run around quick scoping go ahead and do that that's what i've done but if you guys aren't very good with snipers and you need to play a lot slower again just slow it back down to like when you were doing the mounted kills sit at the back of the map aim down those certain alleyways where you know people are going to be coming from just sit and keep getting the kills every single time hopefully you should be able to get three kills at least one every single game uh, if not more but like i say just really slow your play style down with this make sure you've got uavs up make sure you've got personal radars up make sure you've got counter uavs all that sort of stuff and then just sit and keep watching those specific lines of sights where you know people are going to run into get that done three times you might even want to get two kills on say for example the right hand side of the map looking down an alleyway and then go to the left hand side of the map for the last one because people might expect you to then be there on that third one so if you get the two kills then move to the left hand side of the map or the middle of the map whatever it might be look down a different alleyway and you should be able to get that done nice and quickly that shouldn't take you too long um but that's honestly the best tips i have got they can be a little bit frustrating but just really slow your play style down let people come to you put like a red dot sight on it rather than actually like a sniper scope because it might make it easier for those up close kills if you're getting caught in a uh, close combat and then for the platinum camo guys it's gonna be 25 long shot kills Whatever you do, do this in ground war. Have the gun set up. You, this is the exact class I ran for getting mine done in ground war. I've done it all in ground war. The reason for that is there's no AI in ground war, whereas invasion, you could get a lot of AI kills, which do not count towards the camos. So go ahead and play ground war. They're still the big maps. You all you need to do is sit on top of buildings and aim into like the enemy spawn where they're going to be running out from. All that sort of stuff. It's very, very easy to do in ground war. It took me two games maximum. Um, but like I said, that's the, that's the class that I ran in particular. As you can see, I'm not running an optic. I'm not running a barrel because it changes the way the gun plays. I'm running the 
a stock and a rear grip for slightly better ADS speed. And then I am running the muzzle because it's a suppressor and I was just using it for the suppressor kills. But it's very, very easy to do if you play ground war. It should literally take you two or three games maximum because most of the kills you're going to get with a sniper in ground war are going to be long shots just because of how far most people are away from you in this game mode. So it's much, much easier to do this year, uh, which is a really, really nice thing. Let me go right through and run through some of the other sniper challenges because I know some of them are a little bit different. So we'll have a quick look if there's anything different there. So again, it's 50 kills. It's then two kills in 10 seconds. This should be nice and easy. Play something like Domination or Hard Point. Hard Point's usually the best for double kills. And the reason for this is a lot of your opponents are going to be playing for the objective. So you know where most of your opponents are. They're all going to be in and around the Hard Point. So you need to be there so you can get the two kills within 10 seconds. 10 seconds is a long time to get two kills. Um, when double kills is only like two seconds. 10 kills is actually a very, very long time. You've got to do this 10 times. But like I say, play Hard Point. Focus yourself around where the Hard Point is because that's where a lot of your enemy players are going to be pushing and the sort of area they're going to be in. So you should be able to get that done nice and quickly. Again, just set up your class so it's got good ADS speed so you can actually hit those shots nice and quickly. Again, it's 50 kills using suppressor and 25 kills using a long shot, uh, using one shots, which we've already been through. I know one of the other snipers is slightly more annoying, I believe. Um, so again, double kills, it's going to be 50 kills. 30 kills while prone, all you need to do is just find, again, ground wall could be good for this. Find a building that you can lay down on top of, look around for everyone, get those one, get those kills whilst laying down. But you can also do this in multiplayer maps, just lay down at the back of the map in a certain corner or in a certain alleyway. Sit there, just lay down. Every time someone runs down in the middle of the map, pop those kills. These ones are boring to get. You do have to really slow yourself down for it, but it's just one of the things you've got to do. Sit there, lay down, um, and just make sure you've got good lines of sight on sort of areas you know people are going to be coming through and you should be able to get that done nice and easily once again remember prone is laying down not crouched you have to be laying down for these to count uh, and again it's 25 one shot kills and the final sniper should have one different challenge that we are going to go through as well for you guys which i believe is this one here and for this one it's 50 kills again two double kills 10 hip fire kills right the hip fire kills are the most annoying ones by far on this and the way you want to set your gun up for the hip fire kills is you want to have a laser on it that does the hip fire accuracy so uh for example you would do one like this and what i will say to you guys when you're hip firing with a sniper it is not where your crosshair is it's actually where your laser is which makes it 10 times harder to hit because you know obviously you're every time you're running the lasers bounce around all over the place like you can't keep up with it at all so it's a bit more luck based but everything you're doing you want to increase your hip fire accuracy so there hip fire accuracy hip fire accuracy muzzle is there anything that does the hip fire accuracy for that i don't think there will be um but again every attachment you want on the gun you want it completely stock or you want hip fire attachments so this one is a lot more frustrating to do i will admit this one is a very very annoying um challenge to complete because it's more luck than anything else but what you want to be doing is playing something like again any, basically any multiplayer game mode to be fair it doesn't really matter and what you're going to want to be doing guys is making sure you're making use of stuns so you can stun your opponent and get right up close to them and basically have your barrel against them before you are shooting because it's going to guarantee it's not guarantee but it's going to really increase the chances of you hitting that shot uh, but i will say that is one of the most frustrating ones to do this one really wound me up it's the only camo so far that has wound me up um, because a lot of the times you just miss and there's no real easy way of doing this, I'm afraid. But every time someone stood still, try and get behind them. Like I say, get the barrel right up against them and get the no-scope kill or the hip-fire kill. Again, if someone's not playing, do exactly the same thing. Or just try and get in and around the action and try and hit your no-scopes. Um... I haven't really got a specific method that's going to make this one much, much easier for you guys. Unfortunately, it is just luck based. You are just going to have to run at your opponents, have good hip fire attachments on, and then hopefully you're going to get this done nice and quickly. Um, and then again, like we've already spoke about, gold is to get the 10th to the free tick kills. And then platinum is to get the long shots, which we've already spoken about. So long shots, like I say, do ground war. So if you do need to go and revise any of the camos again and go back over them, go back and have a look. If you've got any more questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. If you have enjoyed the video, smash thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you on the next one in a bit.